In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about casting small metal components that can be fit inside of your silicone mold and embedded into a cast resin piece. This is one of the figures from my Cloud Spirit series. I decided to cast the lightning bolts in metal just to make it a little bit less fragile. The first thing I did was sculpt the lightning bolts out of uh, Magic Sculpt. It's a two-part epoxy. After it hardens, I go in with an X-Acto knife and cut some texture into it. Uh, the idea here is to give it a, a texture that kind of looks like it's a hammered metal. Then I take molds of the lightning bolts. I'm using a platinum silicone, which is specifically designed to handle high temperatures. This particular silicone can handle up to five, 600 degrees. The metal that I'm melting is a low temp metal. It melts at about 280 degrees. All the metal casting supplies I got from a place called Roto Metals. I got this small casting ladle, this small melting pot, and a few of these low melt alloy ingots. The black stuff I'm brushing into the mold here is a graphite and that just works as a mold release for the metal. So I melt the metal, skim the slag off the top a little bit, pour that into the ladle, and then ladle the metal into the mold. Then I set the lightning bolts into the original sculpture, uh, firmly securing them in with the Magic Sculpt epoxy. The clay I'm using for the sculpture is Super Sculpey. It's a soft polymer clay uh, that you can bake in the oven. The pink clay is a softer clay. Uh, the dark gray is a more firm clay. Generally, I'll block out the sculpt in the soft clay and then bake that and then come back and sculpt the firm clay on top. I like using the firm clay for the detail and the texture. Normally I bake the clay at 275. I'll drop that down to 240. That way the metal components won't uh, distort or bend because the melting temperature of those components is 280. The big eye bolt that I screw into the back of the piece just gives me a handle to hold so I don't have to worry about uh, smudging the surface of the sculpture while I'm sculpting it. So in the next video I will show how I create the mold for this piece. The plan is that the mold will have little slots that the cast lightning bolts will fit into. Then the resin will be poured into that mold, lock the metal pieces in, and the metal lightning bolts will be actually embedded into the cast resin cloud.